Dr. Chitra Chandrasekhar, uh, heartiest congratulations to you for your award. We would like to know a little more of that award. First of all, I really would like to thank all the organizers for selecting me. Now presently I am working on the transmission dynamics. In spite of having all these important tools in place, mm -hmm. why transmission is still going on. Mm -hmm. So there are certain hotspots in every city. Mm -hmm. Urban slums are hotspots. Some, mm. some which are contributing to the transmission dynamics. So we investigated what are the risk factors there, mm -hmm. what is happening in that micro environment mm -hmm. which is not allowing the dots to have its effect in totality. Ek taraf, it is coming down the other taraf, still it's going on. So we, we, I did my study in Mahabir hospital where it's the first public private mix was introduced. Okay. It covers 5 lakhs population okay. and in one of the walls uh, the TB transfer continued to get cases from that. So what we did was to identify what was happening in that place. Mm -hmm. That was my work which I took up. So it's a very slum area, very difficult to go in. We were having all the addresses. It's a very interesting study. Mm -hmm. uh, I can talk about Yes, please do. <laughs> yes, very important. Uh, in the, from the previous registers, we could see that patients were coming, continued to come <coughs> from that area. The addresses, we took it out. The 13 year data was collected. Mm -hmm. And then when we went back to that area, we could not find even one address of that. And this is in the year? When, when From 1999 to 2012, I, I collected the retrospective okay. and the prospective data. Okay. Usually in the work center what happens is the STLS accompanies the patient to identify his house and, and then registers where the nearby landmarks to identify the when you go to a slum area, you will, it is very difficult to locate the house because of the random distribution. Mm -hmm. We int integrated the information technology like GPS mm -hmm. and we took help of the local postman mm -hmm. because all the addresses were there. Mm -hmm. We went back to that area mm -hmm. and we uh, recorded all the coordinates of each individual houses mm -hmm. as they were recorded in my Okay. in the TB mm. register mm. and we put it in the Google Earth mm. and the whole map was created and then all the uh, addresses were individual houses where we had map we put it on that the 10 year data was into mm. and uh, imagine the whole data comes in a 3D dimension we could identify household contacts we could identify uh, who were the neighborhood who were affected, the source of contact, mm -hmm. the minimal time duration by which the next contact was uh, infected. Mm -hmm. All this information came, which was only a graphical res representation. In, when you compare it with a 3D dimension in a map form, you get a whole scenario. Mm -hmm. You can identify the risk factors over there. Mm -hmm. So this kind of uh, mapping when it is uh, displayed in the dot center anyone walking from that particular place if the address is there you just look into it and you know where the next source of infection is okay. that was the work i did so yeah. uh, earlier the addresses in the dot center register yeah. they were not correct which means they were all correct huh. but we couldn't find you the couldn't place. find that and this, only okay. person could okay find no no it's person all right the least small waters are there right. highly yeah. high density right so it's very difficult to actually anyone outside you going to a place trying to find them. And and you covered a population of five. Uh, uh, what is the population? Uh, the of five? Particular mm -hmm. area we covered just for it was a pilot mm -hmm. study, mm -hmm. one point five kilometer square kilometers. Mm -hmm. We compared it with a non hotspot adjacent area also. Mm -hmm. This was around sixty thousand population, eight hundred houses. Mm -hmm. The most demographic uh, challenges uh, details were. Um, most of them were economic to the backward, they were all daily wage workers. And the houses are like wadas. Mm. There will be five or six rooms in a small courtyard mm. and in a small 10 by 10 uh, room, mm. not less than six people staying, mm. ventilated if they are lucky, <coughs> in or no windows, mm. cooking fuel will be firewood or kerosene. <coughs> 
that adds on to the female being. And uh, very interestingly, in our study, the women, uh, number of women detected had increased. Maybe this PPM dots has enabled them to access the health care in the nearby center instead of going all the way, leaving their house. So that was one important. And another important finding was that extra primary cases are on the rise, whether it is hotspot or non-hotspot. Mm -hmm. there, there's something is going on, the extra primary cases are increasing. Could it be because of the immune system in each person is getting enhanced because of constant constant what you say exposure to the environment we still need to work on that but overall if you can just uh, introduce the in latest technologies like GPS mm -hmm. and we have a wonderful mm -hmm. network of post postal department mm -hmm. we can integrate with them mm -hmm. you can generate these simple maps mm -hmm. display it in the dot center mm -hmm. and you will be able to identify the source of mm -hmm. why that person has got this mm -hmm. and you can take preventive measures. What were the risk factors you identified? Poverty, no ventilation, mm -hmm. so no sanitation, mm -hmm. highly crowded mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. So so the simple mantra, you know, one room, one window. Mm -hmm. We have air free. So if the person is able to get some free circulating air, mm -hmm. see the usually the Transmission occurs when someone coughs, the droplets go, you inhale, or when the patient's family is in constant touch with the index case. Index case, you know, that. and there is no out in the you know the room air in the room is the vessel will be carried, and if that person gets lost, if he is lucky enough, he will escape the infection. Otherwise, he might land up into a disease. That is happening. And the uh, second thing, we also looked into the host genetic susceptibility. Mm -hmm. We found in the hot spot, it was, it was a homogeneous population, mostly belonged to the Muslim community. Mm -hmm. They were there for more than five to ten years. Mm -hmm. When we compared it with the other general population, mm -hmm. that one ge genetic mm -hmm. dose was highly, uh, uh, what do you say, expressed. Mm -hmm. This is a pilot study, so we can use this as a screening for the household contact. If it is highly expressed, as we know, he can get an infection or disease in future. So this might help in the preventive measures. So the more you prevent, the less the transmission occurs. Yes. So if they can address this crowding factor, it's very big problem, but not impossible. No? Maybe we can help the slums to have a better facilities mm -hmm. so that, that you know some they are the cause for mm -hmm. the disease to press uh, circulate into the almost six percent of the transmission occurs because of these slums but if you address and control the mm -hmm. transmission in these areas mm -hmm. the general population will be you know Protected. protected. Yes. Uh, and when was the study done? The latest. I took eight years to finish this study from 2008 mm. to 11. I to, to 11. Mm. Okay. Latest okay. study. Mm. This is the first data in uh, whole of Hyderabad okay. to have this kind of study done. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, now, so what is the way forward? And p I'm more interested about uh, maybe are women more prone to getting TB and uh, also not getting treatment you said that has improved yes. because with the centers close by yes it is also said that uh, women are uh, more treatment compliant than men it has been said in many cases that yes. once they start treatment they are bound to yeah. uh, finish it as compared yeah, to but men the beauty of the ppm program was mm. the people that is dealers of treatment supervisors mm. they have more hold on these patients mm whom they are uh, mm -hmm. uh, registered in lung. And women, mm -hmm. if the lung tissue is, uh, it can, any disease can come mm -hmm. whenever your lung uh, mm -hmm. tissue is being uh, compromised. Mm -hmm. So TB is one of them. And since it is everywhere in the air, they are more, uh, you know, sensitive to getting this. And they were mostly in the reproductive age. 15 to 35 years was the most okay. vulnerable, vulnerable group. group. 
okay that we found out okay mm -hmm. and what about the comorbidity with hiv what did you find hiv we did not know but there were in our study hiv patients were not uh, they were negative for hiv we didn't take those okay. okay so okay. overall this mm -hmm. was an epidemiological study mm -hmm. we want to identify yes mm -hmm. how to identify a hotspot mm -hmm. that was our role. Mm -hmm. once we identify Mm -hmm. Maybe the program managers can really go and work on that, on, on, in those improving areas. the living conditions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it will help them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Given their living conditions, what would you expect? From means what can they do at their level just to reduce the risk factors? <laughs> Mm -hmm. See, in the mm -hmm. first place itself, when the, the, the slums come out, mm -hmm. The authorities, why do they give permission to, for the uh, things mm -hmm. to come? Even the, even the landlords build those rooms, right? Mm -hmm. The building mm -hmm. people build them. Mm -hmm. Why mm -hmm. give them permission? They should have at least basic necessity structural facilities. Like one window. Right. Simple. Mm -hmm. One window for ventilation. Mm -hmm. That, that itself will work that wonders. That itself will work wonders, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. uh, it's not asking for it. Right, right, right. right. They have the same buildings come up. That's mm -hmm. not correct. No, at least the future slums when they come up, the authorities can restrict about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can build those shanties or whatever it is. But at least it should have one ventilation. Somewhere dhup to free hai, hawa bhi free hai. Mm -hmm. Why not we allow those human beings to get the advantage of that? But the emotional hangover is bad after you go there and come back. It works on your mind. It's very sad. Why should a human being suffer so much? Yes. So much. <coughs> but that opens our mind to the social inequities which are actually existing in the society. We don't see if you really see in the villages it's not so open spaces. Uh, 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 yes. Only here. It is in the slums only. The city slums are bigger hotbeds of yes. 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 Because I have interviewed lot many mm. tuberculosis patients, even um, MDRTB patients, mm. Mm. Uh, women and men. And mm. very often I found if the uh, the woman said she had been thrown out of the house because of that, and if it was a ma if it was a man, the it was the woman too. was to, yes, she was <laughs> okay, struggling yeah, for that. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. And what about MDRTB? Do you find uh, many much of MDRTB in your patients? Or, uh, uh, because perhaps it could be because of the strict treatment is in what they are okay. mm -hmm. uh, So far, the MDRTB in that particular. Um, program mm. PPM mm. Is, has been not so okay. alarming as, as it has as in their other uh, okay. general public mm. like so mm. maybe the early intervention or holding on to them the, it was less than 20 percent okay less than, uh, maybe it is less we okay. okay because this uh, availability now only the diagnostics uh, early diagnostic mm -hmm. tools have come up. Mm -hmm. So now perhaps there will be. Mm -hmm. My, I'm from a private sector mm -hmm. laboratory, so mm -hmm. when I the patients come to us, the referred patients, we only do and we find that extra primary cases we didn't find much of MDR. They are still sensitive. Mm -hmm. So many patients who have already been treated mm -hmm. with various regimes, mm -hmm. and then MDR can be expected. Mm -hmm. So I think that is where it goes okay okay mm -hmm. any message for the, <laughs> the future of tb and for because uh, this because we have to leave the next generations coming generation at least a good air mm -hmm. non-polluted air to mm -hmm. breathe mm -hmm. we can address this slum hot beds mm -hmm. i think we can have the 50 percent of the problem okay. will be solved okay. <laughs>